Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to find out why your Xiaomi Defang camera no longer works. Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so here we go, another video on the Xiaomi Defang camera, or the Xiaomi DF3 as it's otherwise known. And recently a lot of people have been experiencing problems, especially those of you in the UK or in the European areas, which has coincided with a recent app update and also a firmware update on the Xiaomi Defang. Now a lot of you have had the error where the camera simply just times out and you get the latency 1000 error, which is badly translated to patency 1000 error. The reason for this is as it seems from discussions I've had with other users and also Mark over at Xiaomi.eu, which is a fantastic site, which if you've got a Xiaomi product and you're in the European Union areas, I strongly suggest you join it just for the wealth of technical knowledge and support that you can get there. And I'll be putting the links to that site and all the other things I mentioned in this video in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. So due to the information and feedback we've been getting and the users have been commenting, it does seem that there has been a geo-blocking or MAC address blocking of certain Xiaomi sold Defang cameras which have been sold through various means through various outlets. Mm -hmm. Now what we can reasonably deduct from this is the fact that Xiaomi are trying to separate their markets. So the Xiaomi Defang, the DF3, was originally only ever intended for the Chinese market and as some of you will know whilst setting up the app you'd have to put in mainland China as being your destination or your home. So it would seem that some of the other manufacturers which actually used the same design, whether it be licensed or not, are maybe getting a little bit upset about the amount of these kind of grey market imports coming from places such as Alibaba, AliExpress, even from eBay, places like that. They are propping up everywhere. You only have to do a search for Xiaomi Defang camera and there's people selling them all over the place and in different countries, and especially those outside of China. Some of the larger known ones that are selling the same camera under a different brand are people like iSmart and WiseCam, to name just two. These cameras look exactly the same. They have slightly modified firmware, but essentially are based on the same hardware. So going back to separate the, uh, the segments or the market segments, it would appear that there's been some form of MAC address or geo-blocking. So by using the MAC addresses, which they can probably trace to who they've sold and to where they've been distributed, they can get a rough idea of where the product should be or where they've ended up. So if you're one of those unfortunate ones whose MAC address has been put on the blacklist, chances are you're going to get the message that says latency 1000 or get a just a general timeout. So what can you do to fix it? Well, if you're watching this video and you've already had the problem, then at the moment there seems that there's only two real ways of remedying the problem. Now the first one of which is through the official means and there is a feedback address or email address that you can use. You can send a picture of your MAC address, which is situated on the rear of the device on the sticker, and also your serial number and a picture of your purchase receipt and where you got it from. You can send it to this email address and if everything checks out, then they should be able to whitelist your MAC address and you should be able to get connectivity again. From feedback we've also had, this particular method can take anything up to about 10 days or so, so don't expect it to be an overnight thing, although it possibly could be. It's one of those things, you send your email, it'll get processed and they'll come to you in due time. Now when I first heard this, or when I first saw it posted on one of the YouTube videos, I was actually very skeptical because your MAC address contains obviously a lot of information about your device, etc., and where you are, and leaves you potentially open to be hacked or for someone to put a back door into the device. But unfortunately, in this particular instance, we're kind of our hands are tied, there's not a great deal you can do. So although there are security potential issues there, this does seem to be the, uh, the preferred option. Now alternatively, the secondary option is to actually go back or roll back the actual firmware on the device. Now this actual problem seems to affect models on BIOS version or firmware version 5.5.1.419. So if you've got that version, then the best thing to do is to roll it back a little bit. Now there are actually other YouTube channels, which again, I'll put links to. There's a YK Handler, who actually makes custom firmware for these particular devices. So I'll put a link for that. You can check his channel out and 
um, you can obtain a download for the modified BIOS ROM from that site or from that YouTuber, and that may well cure your problem. But again, essentially, this is a kind of a third party hack, and although I would imagine his intentions are completely genuine and all above board, but you never know what is actually going into these firmwares unless you look into it in some great depth or you have some knowledge of it. So for me, the, the ideal solution would be to send the MAC address and the serial number and your proof of purchase to the feedback address and hopefully get the device put back onto the whitelist so you can carry on using your device. Now again, this actually doesn't affect everybody. I seem to have been very lucky. I've got three of these Defang cameras, all of which came from Gearbest, which are technically not an official Xiaomi stockist, at least not for a UK market, but all my cameras at the moment seem to be working. So uh, it'd be interesting to see where you people have actually bought your cameras from, which suppliers seem to be the ones that are causing the most problems. If you want to let me know, put it in the comment section below and we'll try and get a list together and see who the problem suppliers are. And talking of suppliers, I actually had a quick look today to see who is still selling these devices on the market. Now I had a quick look on AliExpress and believe it or not, the Xiaomi Defang camera is still on sale on their site. At the moment, it's actually under 10 UK pounds, which is absolutely mental. I don't understand how they managed to do it for that, but they have got them listed and I'll put a screenshot so you can see it. It is genuine with today's date on. What a fantastic price, which obviously gives you some reason why Xiaomi or their partners are actually trying to clamp down on where these devices are sold, especially being as places like the iSmart are selling for $149, although at the moment they have a generous 50% rebate, bringing it down to just $75, which is a massive difference in price. So understandably, somebody somewhere is upset about this, and that is why they're clamping down on these MAC addresses. Anyway, so I've waffled on for far too long. If you want to check out any of the information that I've discussed in this video, the links will be in the description below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.